Welcome to Simulator Adventures, and welcome to Britannic, patroness of the Mediterranean. This is a game about the Britannic, which was a hospital ship in the First World War. Now it sank in 1916 um, off an island uh, in Greece, and um, there's a game uh, coming out soon called Titanic Honor and Glory, and the company that's making it, or the um, group that's making it, released this game about one of Titanic's sister ships. So um, in the Titanic game, you're going to be able to like go on the voyage and survive the sinking and stuff like that. And it's quite similar with this. We're going to learn about the ship. We're going to uh, have a look at the sinking. Um, and it's really cool. You can walk around the ship. You can... Um, like play it as it's about to sink it's so cool uh just released on steam i will leave a link to it down in the description below so let's get going so uh i think we're going to do tour the ship first and we can turn on subtitles and Good young man. this like um overview of like what's going on like a voiceover uh let's go to the forward grand staircase now this is when um the britannic was kind of stripped out from its like ocean line a really luxurious kind of uh, fittings and then made into a hospital ship where it basically could only um, well could accommodate lots of people anyway the pipe organ the evacuees that kind of thing paneling, the questionable blue flooring the one comfort is that it's being kept safe from the Hun's brutish fist so look at this look at this so beautiful I've got the graphics at max have we got a um, motion blur on so I turn motion blur off it's, it still looks like we got it on anyway um, maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. Um, so yeah, look at all this detail. And now the only my only criticism of this is that you can't actually explore the whole ship from this mode. But you can see here's the um, the lifts. Right here we go. Britannic's pipe organ was removed during her wartime service, which is why it survives today. The casing, however, was still plainly visible. Yeah, so we heard there was an organ here. Is that like a megaphone? Or a fire extinguisher? I don't know what that is. Um, look at this. So eventually, um, in the games that they're making, you're going to be able to walk around the whole ship. And so this is the famous grand staircase over here. Like the one on Titanic. Similar, anyway. Whoa. For the most part, though not entirely, A deck and above was off limits to wounded soldiers. There's a famous photo of three nurses standing in front of a notice just like this one on the wall. The photo was taken in the aft grand staircase. Out of bounds for patients, look at that. State rooms 26 to 30, can't go through there. Now there are some doors you can open. I think like the red doors you can open. Because of the basic design of this section of the ship, these passenger corridors remain relatively unchanged in Britannic's conversion to hospital ship. Okay. Wow, oh, look at that the sea out there. So we're meant to be in Naples, Italy. I wonder if we can see um, the port. Ah, look at that. I can't see the port. I think we're out, we're out at sea. But there you go. Look out there. We're going to be out there in a minute. So cool. So much detail. Well, here's a stack of memories I should probably begin repressing. So this looks like that's the Empress of Ireland. And it's up the that's the Lusitania. So these are all ships that sank. Um see so yeah, Britannic does sink. And we can go have a look at that in a minute. So now let's go and have a look. Um tour the ship on the RMS Britannic. This is when it was this isn't real. So this never actually happened, this like, when it became an ocean liner. So you'll see, we're going to go to the nighttime exterior. Here we go. See, 1919, it sank in 1916. So this is like a fictional time when it was um, taken back by the White, White Star Line, the people who ran the ship. And oh, look at that. Oh, look at the um, northern lights. Wow. So this game runs well. You can jump. Um, you seem to run a bit faster in this mode. But it's cool, look at this. Notice, passengers are not allowed forward of this. Well, oh! Well, the gate sort of opened. Um, so unlike the Titanic, they had loads and loads of lifeboats on this. Or they would have. Um, the Britannic only um, had about 30 lives lost. 
out of like a few thousand. So they really did well. Obviously, every uh, you know they still people died, but um, the Britannic sank in quite warm waters. And even though there were really injured people on the boat from like World War One, they did manage to get a load of people off. So that's really impressive. Right, we're going to go to the front. Famous, obviously, for uh, not allowed to order this. So we, we are allowed to order there. Hmm. Famous, of obviously, where um, Jack and Rose from the Titanic movie. We can look back, look at that. So it is quite different to Titanic. It's uh, it's updated a little bit. It's got lots of different stuff on it. Um, and you can sort of explore the whole ship. Uh, let's go to the wheelhouse before we continue. And then, we're going to go straight to the sinking. So I'm not going to show everything in this video. I think there's a lot that um, you can look at yourself if you want to have a look at this. Chart room over there. Look at this. So cool. So also, so this, that's the heading. So we're heading... Uh, north? North. You're heading north. Wow. Is there any land we can see? It did just say the Atlantic, right? Because we're not actually moving. Look at that. We're not moving. Anyway, so, let's get to the main event, right? We're going to go to the sinking. We could go to free camera mode. We'll look at that uh, to end the video, but we'll go to full-time real sinking. So, it sinks in about an hour. I'm not going to be playing through all of it. I'm just going to go for, like, the, the first bit. I'm gonna, we're going to have a look when um, we hit a mine. The Britannic hit a mine and it sank. Um, I'm not actually sure if it was like a British mine or a German mine, but the mines in World War One, or in, well, to be honest, most conflicts, weren't meant to hit these hospital ships. So it's kind of indiscriminate, you know? It wasn't placed with the aim of hitting a hospital ship. Anyway, so you have these, these cranes that lowered all these lifeboats. And we'll, we'll see those moving in a bit. I think. Well, here we are at the helm. Um, so yeah, you can see over here. We've got an island over here, the island of Kia, which is um, the ship actually started to turn towards there, with like the hope of like getting close to land, so people could easily get away from the ship and to safety. I mean, no way you're going to see a mine. Look at that. But beneath the surface, really hard to see. But it was enough to take this ship down, even though it had loads of safety improvements. Can we jump on here? No. Even though it had loads of safety improvements from Titanic? Oh, we can jump up here. Here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Um... I don't know what this is. Is this like a, a communication sort of thing? Or is it, uh, I don't know. It's got lights on it. So you can see up there the um, the radio antennas. Or whatever they are. They're like, um, the, it's the wireless cables, I suppose. We have a telegraph. Um, and in the sinking, they snap. And we'll see that in a minute. So any minute now. There's going to be a huge explosion, and the ship's going to sort of jump up. Got a great spot to view it. It hits right about there. Wow. So it's made an Unreal Engine, this. Looking pretty good. Um, I don't know if they're going to update this game. I think it could do with a bit of an update. You know. I know it just came out, but, you know, being able to explore the whole shit would be cool. Especially because you have to pay money for this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not dissatisfied. Or unsatisfied is the word that I was looking for there. You know. Maybe, maybe it should cost a little bit less than about, what is it, 12 quid? 12 pounds? I don't know how much it would be in dollars. Oh! There you go. I picked the mine, the ship's... Right, so watch up here. The cables are going to snap. Ready? There they go. Whoa! So 
So that meant that the Britannic could still send out radio messages, but they wouldn't receive any. So they didn't know if anyone's coming to help them. Right. Wow. So what's going to happen now? So now they're just working at, you know, what's going on? Do we need to evacuate? I'm not, I'm not actually sure if you can uh, really get in the ship right now. That you can see in, you can see inside. There is stuff in there. I mean, why they don't let you in? It's a bit confusing to me. Let's go to the back of the ship. Oh, I can already see the lean. Look at that. I can already see we're taking on water. So you can hear that as we go back towards the back of the ship. You can hear the engines. Here we go. Back of the ship. Wow. Oh, there's actually beds in there for like... Um... Hospital beds. Wow, we are leaning a lot. Look at that. Whoa. That's ridiculous. Already. Let's go back to the front and see what's going on. So yeah, the Titanic Honor and Glory game that's going to come out will be like sort of a... Um, I don't know if you've heard of that game, Titanic Adventure Out of Time. I think it's going to be a bit like that, but it's also going to have like a history element and a more realistic element. The, the people that have made this, that, that it's like the first time the whole of these ships have been designed um, in 3D. And also... Um, it, they've discovered a lot of new things. A lot of, uh... Oh! Oh! That's the abandoned ship signal. Well, they, they made that decision quick, didn't they? So I'm, I'm wondering if anyone like on these islands noticed the ship making this noise. Right, let's just wait until the first of the lifeboats starts to set off. And then we'll skip to midway through the sinking. These are like electric cranes, so they will move. Oh, up we go. Oh, wow, you can actually hear. Oh, so this is where you would go down to the engine room, right? Okay. Whoa. Um, we can go to the engine room in a bit. I just want to see some movement up here. Let's go back to the wheelhouse, see what's going on. Oh, it's the venting steam now. Oh! Whoa! Look at that in there. We almost made it into the... I wonder if we can actually get out of the ship by one of the low I'm stuck, aren't I? I'm stuck! No! Okay, you can just press F to respawn. Um. Maybe we can see the lifeboats better from up here. Whoa. So there's one crane up there, a couple of cranes there. And then, like, the manual cranes here. 
Oh. My god. Oh, no! Well, that's a disaster. Oh, look at that. You can see in all the... Whoa, that's a lot of big waves there. If we go to the back of the ship, we'll be able to see the um, propellers yet. Not quite, but you can see the whole... Oh, no, there's one. Look at that, the big rudder. Oh, look at that. Now, I think if we run into them... Ready? Oh! Wow. Still no, the lifeboats are moving, though. Oh, I can hear it. There you go, look at that! Wow! So can we get in? It is quite slow, isn't it? The movement of this one. So this is the first lifeboat to go, I guess. Oh, I wanna, I wanna get out. I wanna jump. I can't get out, oh god. There you go, the first one to go. This crane should start moving. Let's look on the other side. I don't know if there's any cranes on here. Mm, there's one, I think. Oh, I think that lifeboat's going too. Um, I mean, I'm just I'm mesmerised with this. I could play this all day, but obviously, I think. Uh, It'd be better if I um, kind of skipped ahead. Oh, can we climb up there? Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Does that lifeboat stop moving now? I don't know. It's not moving very fast. Ah! There it is! This one's going, isn't it? Yeah, 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 look! Here we go! So how do people get in? That's my question. Oh, this is cool. Look at it go. Wow. Okay, so it's like extended from this sort of arm that goes on a, along a track. Look at that. Wow. And I guess this is the control for it. Is that waterproof? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. There you go, lifeboats are swinging out. Look, some, some of them are bigger. This one's a motor. Whoa, that one's got a motor on it. Oh, that's cool. Can we get up there and have a look at, look at it? Oh. Yeah. Wow. The motor lifeboat. Look at that. Hey, hey. Oh, look at the steering wheel. Oh, that's cute. Wow. I'd love to be in this one. Well, I wouldn't. Because you'd be in a sinking ship. It's not that fun. Um, okay, so I'm guessing they, they stop it here. And then let people in. Yes. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty much um, it for the moment. Let's go and have a look at Midway Through the Sinking. Which is like sort of 10, 15 minutes later than where we left off.
Yeah, eight forty-seven. As you can see, the lean now is quite ridiculous. We've got lifeboats behind, all the way behind, actually. Let's go and have a look for that motorboat. I'm wondering if uh, it's already been lowered in. I mean, it must be one of the first ones they put out. So no people in this game, which is probably for the best. Um, I think they're, they're spending a lot of time working on the story for the Titanic and Honor, Honor and Glory game, so... Uh, ah, there it is over there. Can we, uh, can we jump over and run to it? Whoa. No, there's one. Look. Oh no. That's a bit close to the... Um, Propellers, isn't it? Oh, I wish we could drive it. Oh. No. Definitely can. So, unfortunately, some of the... Um, Lifeboats got shredded up by the propellers. Oh, if we, if we stand here, we can actually like ride on the propeller. That's a bit weird. Um, I don't think these are. Oh, I don't know. It's getting pretty close. They don't, they don't seem to be launching too many on the left. Oh, no! That one's going to launch right into the path of the uh, propeller. That's not good. So these ones missed. Wow, look at that. Oh, no. Disaster. I can see it already. The ship's still moving quite fast, actually. I think because they're trying to get it over to the island, it's moving quite fast. I know this isn't a very realistic view here, me in the water. Should we get in the boat and see what happens? There we go. Right, we are now... Oh no, we're turning away. I think we're going to be okay. Oh no, we're not. Oh no. Uh-oh. So, I guess the suction? We're being sucked towards the... The boat? The ship, sorry. And we're also being sucked into the... Uh, propeller. Oh, I think we're just going to miss it. Why are we like... Oh, we're just going to miss it. But at some point, one of the boats does get sucked into one of these. And unfortunately, a few people die. And that's where most of the deaths in the disaster happened. Oh, God, can I get out? Oh, that's close. I would not like that. They're not they're not massive propellers, are they? Considering the size of the ship. Right, there you go. Um The boat is actually turning away from the island now, oh dear. Britannic Liverpool, wow. Uh, so, one more thing before we finish. I'm going to go, no, two more things. I'm going to quickly show you Taller Ship. I believe it's, no, it's uh, RMS Boiler Room 6. Here we go. 
29th of August 1915, Belfast, Ireland. RMS Britannic, Boiler Room 6. Another opportunity for daring adventure in the bowels of the ship? Yes, please. But shouldn't they turn these boilers off? It's not like the ship is going anywhere anytime soon. Or is that for the electricity? So here we go. Oh, can't go down there. Down here. Go quite quickly down the ladders, don't we? Um, for some reason we can't get past that bucket. Whoa, whoa! Can we go... Down here. Yes, here we are. We're in the boiler room. Wow, look at this. The huge... Firemen must break step. Don't want the bottom of the ship falling out. This tunnel leaves under the ship's cargo holds, giving Stokers direct access between their quarters and their workspace. It's nice. Proceeding the Titanic disaster, the double bottom of the Britannic was raised. The solid plating seen here is the inner part of this raised bottom. Wow. Ooh. This wheelbarrow is still in position on this wreck. It's blocking us from getting in deeper. And has prevented divers from going deeper in the ship on early dives. Wow. I'm sure you could just get over that. I don't know. See that Unreal Engine? I mean, it's alright, isn't it? It looks quite good. See, that's pretty much it for the um, video. I'm going to show you just quickly before we end. We've done about half an hour in this game, which is quite cool. Uh, we're going to go... Tour the ship, RMS... Exterior daytime free cam. This is a view of the ship that we just wouldn't have seen ever. Well, most people wouldn't have seen because it's such a long time ago now. But look at that. Beautiful. Looks very like the Titanic, really, doesn't it? It is just different enough. What's that down there? But yeah, this is Britannic, patroness of the Mediterranean. I think it's really cool. Um, what is that? Oh, it's like some kind of marking for water level, I guess. Oh, that's like a grate. It's weird. But you can see inside every room. Oh, hello? Oh, that was a face there. Did you see that? No, it's just a carpet. I thought it was like an Easter egg of a face. Um, really cool though. All the details are here. Can we get through there? Oh, I can't quite make it. Um, and yeah, really cool game. A view of what's to come with Titanic Honor and Glory, which is going to be coming out uh, in a few years' time. A game I've been following for a while. Um, I've I've kind of contributed to a couple of game projects that haven't really worked out in the past. I'm thinking of contributing to Titanic Honor and Glory because look, they've actually released a full game here. Well, pretty much a full game. It's almost you know perfect in my mind. It just needs a few little additions, like the um, addition of the ability to walk around the whole ship. But, that is Britannic, Patroness of the Medi Mediterranean. Um, thank you very much for watching. Check out the links about this game in the description down below. And I will see you soon for some more Simulator Adventures.